the most memorable one was when I learned that my character was not good. And when, like, the first season we had this whole love affair with Luke and, you know, you could see her struggle and wanting, but she's married and this, and then they finally got together. And then I get the script and I'm like, what? I did what? This is the best time to be an up and coming Latina actress. Not only is there way more opportunity, but I have like my blonde, blue eyed friends that are like, I can't get a job because they want a Latino. And I'm like, well, sorry. You know, whenever you would get people writing for Latinos, it would be like, you're loco. And I was like, I've never once heard any cousin, any family member, ever use the word loco, ever. Or now it's just different. You've also got um, Latinos or Latinx, you know, behind the camera as well. So it makes a bigger difference. And they're sort of just telling any story, whether the person is Latin or black or Asian or whatever. So I feel like we're finally catching up to the actual real world out there. Sounds wonderful. Except for the fact that the place is probably being haunted by the ghosts of the nuns that died there. I'll have it cleansed by a senora. In the meantime, I need you to appoint Claudius Blossom, Sheriff of Riverdale. After some careful consideration, he's agreed to take on the challenge. Hiram. No. Hmm. Now, Claudius Blossom is your business partner. People will talk. Let them talk. I love the character. Sometimes she's a bit confusing for me as well. Um, but I like that she has sort of this mysterious quality to her and sometimes she's really good and sometimes she's really bad. Nails, hair, and wardrobe because she's very, very specific and then all of a sudden her beingness and her mannerisms sort of come and she does a lot with her hands and she's very more feminine and more graceful. We have the greatest, most enthusiastic fans that love us um, and that's really amazing because I've been on a lot of shows and done a lot of projects and not a lot of people always see them. So when you do something that people really love and embrace, it completely, completely makes it worth it. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'll just get right to it, Madam Mayor. You shoot your husband? Excuse me? I love my husband. Mm -hmm. But did you shoot him? From what I hear, not all is well over at the Pembroke. As records and witnesses will attest, I was on the phone with Hiram when he was shot picking up lunch at Pops. What were you and Hiram arguing about when Veronica had her seizure? Well, Mr. Jones, if you must know, we were fighting because I caught Hiram having an affair. I used to get really devastated over any role that I lost or that someone else beat me out on or that they didn't want me because I was too short or too tall or too Latin or not Latin enough or whatever. I had one person say, don't worry, there'll be, enough, there'll be another one. And I didn't get that because I was always like, this was the one that was going to make me a star, change my life. And, um, and through my 20 years in the business, there's always another one. There's always another opportunity. There's always another script I'm going to fall in love with. There's always another chance. Um, and so that probably was the best advice that I could give to anyone nowadays as well. You are going to come up with the money to pay back what's owed. How are we supposed to do that? I'd start with the speakeasy's coffers. We don't make nearly enough to pay off whatever kingpin you're working with, Mom. Well, then I suggest you get creative, Mia. And quickly, the buyer who has a reputation for being dangerously unhinged is on their way to Riverdale, and they're looking to get paid back in full for the drugs they are not getting. I, I will be honest, I can't give too many secrets because I don't know. They don't tell us. Um, I think on purpose, I think they just don't trust us to not blab. But um, I could tell you that, like always, Riverdale's stakes are always very, very high. This is a guess, but I think that the hold that Hiram Lodge has on Riverdale is gonna have to come to some kind of end, because it just gets worse and worse and worse this season, and goes darker and darker. So I believe that's coming to a peak. I just don't know what that means for anybody, but I'm excited to find out.